And we're live on Facebook here on Saturday, February 4th. Hello, everybody. I'm Ron Garrett, and get ready for the Las Vegas Rocks radio show with our great guests this evening. Melia Ross, Derek David, Neil Portnoy, Tom Hillary, and the great Mark Maynard. Also in the room, our official photographer, Brian Nofels here. Thank God he's back. We need some pictures. Also, Mark Thomas behind the board, and Marco Bacigalup. He's in the back of the room, so and that's not really his name. We're on in 35 seconds. Stand by, everybody. Just end the vowel. Put a vowel at the name. You might have got away with it. Early. Yeah, I'm early today. today. Look for the free report. Crisis cool. How to make absolutely sure your meat, milk, and medicines stay safe and cool in any power outage. At your street. Ten seconds. I saw it back up. When we when we use this microphone, grab it. I will swing it to you and I'll pull it back. We're on. Digital output. Do your usual keyboard. And welcome, everybody, to the Las Vegas Rocks Radio Show. I'm your host, Ron Garrett, right here on a good-looking Saturday evening on February the 4th. We'll date the show so we can never rerun it, you know, <laughs> on a good-looking Saturday. Go the Pro Bowl going on right across the street. Right across here. the street. That's, it's an amazing th event, but nobody's playing football this time. Flag they're football. Flag football. They're throwing the ball around, put it through a hole and all that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. Derek Carr is back. Entertainment. I know, but first, let's talk about the show. Join me. And the master illustrator at Portnoy Gallery, our co-host, Mr. Neil Portnoy. Hello, Neil. Hello, Ron. Along with Neil is movie maker, executive producer, inventor, and Fortune 500 honoree, Mr. Tom Hillary. Hello, Tom. Uh, how you doing, Ron? Tom, you're going to talk a little bit about why military movies do so well today. Yes, indeed. And I would like, if I can, a shout-out to the ancient and honorable artillery company of uh, Massachusetts. Not yet. Not, not yet. No. You know, later? Not, yeah, later? Yeah, later? Yeah, I've been practicing. You did half your show already. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? No, that's fine. That's exactly what he's going to be talking about. And join us, the three of us, along with the fantastic Italian singing star who's in studio with us. Right now, Miss Nellie Ross. Hello, 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 Ron. How are you? We've got some news <laughs> about you. We're going to yes. be talking about today. Yeah, such a good news. Such good news. Sitting next to Nellie is our good buddy, uh, the producer, director, uh, uh, clothing shop owner. It's uh, not a Decatur in Alta. It's New Barry's <laughs> Fashions, and it's uh, Decatur and Desert Inn. And like between Desert Inn and Spring, Spring Mountain. Mountain. That's right. And that's you, Barry Fashions. But mostly it's your new show coming up on next Thursday that right. we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. So welcome to the studio. On the other side of Mr. Tom Hillary is our friend, and uh, glad to have you back, Mr. Let's give my microphone there, Tom. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you, Mr. Mark. Mark Maynard, and you're in the show that we're going to be talking about very uh, shortly. Yes, sir, that's right. Well, thank you for being here. And I've got everybody else into it. Uh, Mark Thomas behind the board, our studio producer. Hello, Brian. Welcome back. Thank you. Brian's got a big job over at the MGM, so they... We let him off tonight to come over and, and take pictures of this handsome and beautiful crew that's in the uh, studio right now. But first, before we go, oh, and at 5.30, our favorite mobsters are calling in Joe and Heidi Marino. Excellent. <clears throat> By the way, their business deal is picking up. Yeah, it, it, yeah, well, it's picking up rather than digging in. So digging that's in. Good. <laughs> that's right. That's good. And I asked Joe, I said, he said, Joe says to me, why, uh, he said, you know why Italians hug so many people, why they hug a lot? No. 
they're sizing up the size of the hole. <laughs> nice. That's what, Reaching in the back pocket. And I gotta get I gotta give my sweetheart Tammy credit for that one. She's the one, Tammy. She's the one that passed nice it along sweetheart. to me. Let's do another shout. Oh, our disclaimer first. All the music we're playing right now is all uh, cleared through ASCAP, BMI, uh, and CSAC, and whatever other publishing companies are involved. Uh, and uh, whatever we play is good. This is a full blown radio station, and so on and so forth. And our shout-outs now, yes, to Tammy first. Tammy, my honey, I love you, baby. And uh, she's listening to the show, my biggest fan. And, uh, and I'm her biggest fan to go with it. I want to say hello to Trish Cordani. Trish has been busy lately with a lot of shows, Coast, the Coast Entertainment. And we're going to be talking about one of her bookings here real shortly. Yep. My buddy Jerry Walker up in Reno. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. He's uh, selling a lot of insurance up there and one of the best casino guys. Somebody got a casino job for Jerry. I mean, he needs to get out of that insurance business. He likes selling insurance. He does. He yeah, does. It's like selling air. What does that mean? You sell it. It'll work. <laughs> Push the pencil and you know, and send the bill. And then the Marty party's going on tonight. Marty yeah. party. Yeah. In the in the. Well, listen. It's a lot warmer in Reno than it is back on the east coast of Massachusetts, where it was seven below zero. It, you're right. It was two degrees in Reno just the other day. Five degrees right after that. So, yeah, and that's why we're here in Las Vegas. Yeah. So we don't have to go with that kind of... What would you do with that kind of weather? Well, oh, my goodness. 58 degrees. We're cold here. That's yeah. Everybody puts on their coats. Yeah. yeah. They do. Also, hello to uh, Marty. I said Marty. Right Marty. Here. He's having the Marty Car Marty Carmo. Uh, he's a good good guy, and he's uh, overlooking the Truckee River out of his condo. We're enjoying it tonight. Frozen Janet, over? Is uh, it frozen over the Truckee? It flows. Oh, it flows. So it doesn't freeze, but it freezes in spots. Oh. Yeah. Half frozen Truckee. That's right. The Truckee frozen icicle. It's a new thing they got selling at the uh, ice cream store. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about right That's now. Okay, keep rolling. With That's it. right. <laughs> Janet Conway at New Jersey. Hello, Janet. She's got a little cold weather going on in Jersey, huh? <laughs> doesn't matter what exit you're at in New Jersey, <laughs> what's, it's cold. What, uh, what's the temperature in Boston right now? You two Boston guys right there. I think it's 8 degrees. 8 degrees, Tom? Which Earth. is actually good because it, it's, it can't snow when it's that cold. Yeah, it, uh, why not? Because your blood freezes inside. It's oh, okay, cold. I'll just check. <laughs> Mark, what's the Boston temperature? Boston Blue Bloods, got it? What's the temperature in uh, Boone, Iowa this evening, Mark? Honestly, I'm a little out of touch with Boone. Right now. <laughs> I'm just checking. I would suppose it was probably above freezing. Anyway. Yeah, that's where Mark is from, so we get him about that. <laughs> Gene Ferrari down in Fort Myers, Florida. Hello, Gene. 34 degrees in Boone right now. Boone. Uh, Mark just dra uh, dragged it up here. 34. All right. So now you know. Call, in, call everybody back. 34 right? degrees in Boone. That's why they Boone. wear those hats with, you know, Daniel Boone. The Boone tail. Yeah. Yeah. To keep their head warm. Right. You could use one of those, Neil. Thanks, I knew that. Was good. <laughs> Fourteen degrees in Boston right now. Thank you, Mark Thomas is getting the weatherman right now. Oh, He's going to take over for Sherry Swanks in the morning. Sherry Swanks, right? that'd be pretty cool. Also, uh, Teddy Davis Jr. was on the last show. Thank you, Teddy, for being here. Mystic Mona, we appreciate you coming by and telling us our future is glim. Uh, is, is what? Grim. Grim. Grim, not glim. Grim. 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 Nah, not really. It's. She had some nice work to say. We love Mona. She's fantastic. Best in the business. My Florida cousins, uh, I think I need some help here, Neil. Uh, Frank Richie V. Frank and Richie V are uh, under the weather right now. Oh, and really? And they've been uh, fighting through some difficult times. So we, we want to say, pray yes. say prayers for them and hope they get better real soon. Two of my five cousins there are sick, so I think they'll get better. They're strong. They're Geratanos. Yeah, they ended a vowel. They're, they're, right. they're strong. We're strong. You know, Garrett. Spelled in Italian, is G I A R R A T A N O. <laughs> That's how you spell Garrett in Italian. Gerritano. Gerritano. Well, the Gerritanos are strong, so I'm going to say hello to Richie V and uh, and to Frank and, and he, to and to Diane and right. to Michelle and yeah. to Susan. Right, all all seven of them. And then on the other side, on the east coast of Florida, the law firm, the law firm of Caputo and Rosano. Correct. But Caputo and uh, Lou Rosano, and uh, hello to those guys now. Also, we want to say hi to my next door neighbors, uh, Bob and Paul. They they took in the trash for me this Again. morning. <laughs> Thank you guys. And they were cooking up some lamb the other night out there. My little dogs and they just went crazy. They couldn't wait to get outside. It was smelling real good. Did they share any of it? They were doing a little Greek dish. A Greek dish. Did they share any? No. No, they didn't no. share any. No, they didn't share any. They went back inside when they saw me. Oh. And the dogs went back inside when you saw that. You know. <laughs> they, want, they wanted some of that lamb. 
There's no question about that. And also the Go Live Vegas app, which carries this show all over the, the world. And we appreciate that, Aaron and, uh, and uh, Raquel. Well, we, get, we get great numbers on the Go Live network. We do. Of streaming. We do. We get great numbers. Uh, almost as many as our Facebook uh, Live uh, audience. Yeah, correct. It is. Hello to Joel Rigetti and, and Chris Jason. We, they're sweet. They're going to be uh, on a show soon. I'm going to be talking about it in just a little bit. But uh, we love them, and we're happy that uh, we met with them recently. I want to say hello to uh, Patrick Barney and Sam Shockley over at Rainmaker Productions. Uh, for a reason you'll find out in just a few minutes. Also, all the live music venues here in Las Vegas, uh, mostly Italian restaurants. We call it, or Neil named the it. The Spaghetti Circuit. The Spaghetti Circuit, and it's out there, and it's places to work for all our friends, and we Correct. like that. Barbara Brighton, hello, Barbara. How you feeling today? Barbara Brighton, everybody. Everybody say hello to Barbara. Hello, hey, Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> Barbara's going to help us a little bit with uh, some talk show help, which you'll be finding out. Cliff Lawrence, uh, you're a comedy writer there. Uh, do you go to the... Uh, the entertainers uh, brunch, uh, Neil. Yeah, I was here Thursday. In fact, uh, I got invited to go see um, a comedy show which starts at ten o'clock at night. Uh, Marshall Wolf. Yes, over at uh, Westgate. So I'll be there that evening right. after Derek's show. And uh, and who else is? Oh, oh, and Kathleen Dunbar. Kathleen Dunbar. It's her residency at Westgate, and, and, and she's got this other funniest show. comedian in show business, male or female. Doesn't yeah, she, matter. She, she's yeah, great. She's great. We love Kathleen. Also to uh, PJG and Maria, cruising around in his fifth wheel. I uh, hope he get better. He's been sick, but he's getting better. He's going to be getting sick. I know. It's a tough time. Uh, to Melanie in, uh, in uh, Wiley, Texas. That's Tammy's good friend. Oh, that's good Tammy's friend. good yeah. friend. That's right. That's she right. likes to listen once. Hello, Melanie. Thanks for listening. And finally, we're going to say hello to Johnny Bird. And uh, we look forward to see Johnny's show the day before yours, Derek. And, uh, yeah, he's got to be Johnny. heading back from Florida for his uh, his tour that he's been on every day. I watch his videos, and, and hopefully the, the van will make it all the way back without any issues, Johnny. We hope so. We're going to be right back. <coughs> Wait, we clear my... <coughs> We're going to be right back. <laughs> right after we hear this from guess who? Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, Nellia Ross, and I'm flying. Okay, we're back in just a little bit. We'll start with these. Okay. okay, and you will start with like I always do. We'll go around the room. How many eyes on we got? Uh, right now, nine. Mm -hmm. We hit we hit nine to a thousand views every single time. Now. Well, always past eight. At first, we've had six. Look at this now. Yes. That we've got 19 cells. What do I got left here to go? 15, 14. Uh, time wise, we have uh, 60 seconds. All right. 70, 50, sec 50. 70 seconds. 70 seconds. Okay. Got 10 comments already, Neil. Oh, really? Yeah. And two shares. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
45 seconds. How you doing, Marco? That's good. That's pretty good. That's it. He's always good. <laughs> I, yeah, I always get the pussy. That's the way to be. Yeah. yeah. That's the way to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's always positive. 25 seconds. <clears throat> well, you uh, switch places with Mark and uh, uh, give him your headset, Tom. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. And we're back on the Las Vegas Rocks Radio Show. I'm your host, Ron Garrett, right here on AM 670 KMZQ, talking with some wonderful guests this evening on this great show. Nellie Ross. Miss Nellie. Nellie Ross. We'll get it. Nellie. Nellie Ross. Nellie. Derek David. And Neil Portnoy, Mark. Maynard, Tom Hillary, of course, and everybody else in the room. So let's go back and start with you, Nellie. Yes. Let's start with you. From direct from Rome, here you are in Las Vegas right now. Yes. And there's a bunch of things happening for you. Ah, uh, we are planning so many things. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it up. All right. I'll, yeah. Do you mind if I do that? Yeah, yeah. I absolutely. Do that. Right. But before that, yeah. I'm gonna say hello to Derek. Okay. okay. Derek David. Hello. Give us a plug for uh, your parody real quick. So, I, so I make up for the mistake I made. On the show. Oh, okay. <laughs> You gotta come to do them. <laughs> we got it all for you. You gotta come to do berries. We got it all. Oh. Is that famous voice? Well, when I went to that the Sahara, when you guys were there for all those years. No, I'd come in just to see you. You were a little bit different looking back then. Yes, I was. You had a few more pounds on Yes, you. I did. So did that, did that uh, make your voice uh, a little bit stronger when you were heavy, or are you much the same now? Much you the sound same. just as good. Much the same. Much the same. same. Yeah. Yeah, sure. well, I could hear that baritone voice when you're down there. Boy, that was fantastic. Wait till you do the show coming up. The one that's coming up? Oh, you mean? Yeah, maybe May 11th. May 11th. Is that another one? I missed that one. Oh, I yeah, yeah. No, you're going you're gonna to be on that but, one. But we've also got one on uh, we'll be there. this week. We've got one this coming month. up. No, this one coming up is Next week. fabulous. Mark Maynard, yeah. Okay. We're going to be talking with Mark in just a minute. Okay. Right. We're going to give him a chance. <laughs> We're going to give him a chance. I, he, he came all the way down here from uh, Boulder, Boulder City. Boulder City, right. Yeah. 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 Any, any traffic jams there, Mark? Not bad. No. Not bad. <clears throat> A couple of ladies were slow getting across the street. That was a problem for some of the people out there. But <clears throat> what's that? A couple of the ladies getting across the walkway on the street and over there by Sunset Park. Yeah, that was a bit of an issue. It was. Yeah, not what, for me. Were they walking slow or what? I, they're almost walking. Yes. Almost. Walking. <laughs> <laughs> they've been any slower. They've been walking backwards. Yeah, but you get extra points if you hit between. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. You said that. Why well, do you I think did, that? That's nice, Neil. That was it a bowling alley. Well, it is. Yeah. yeah. I guess so. And so that show's coming up. We're going to talk more about it. We've got yeah, some cuts from it, too. But let me get back to, uh, to the Indian right now. True, of course. Okay. Here's what's happening. Neil, you've been in town how long now? Just uh, a few months. But you've been back and forth. Yeah, I'm always back and forth. And actually, I'm, you know, this is an extended stage. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we are uh, preparing, you know, may I say it? Go ahead. Yeah? Okay. We are preparing a TV show. It's a new TV show. It's not just a show. It's more than a TV show. <laughs> it will be entertainment, music, talk, and uh, it will be half an hour uh, that people can can watch this beautiful show. Uh, it will be on Sundays in the early morning at 7 uh, a.m. So from 7 a.m. to 7:30 a.m. Uh, and you know I will have so many beautiful guests. It starts on, on March 5th. Yeah. It runs just before the Catholic Mass on the CW, cable channel 6, channel 33 on DISH and uh, some other, uh, DISH and Direct is 33, Cox Cable and is uh, channel, channel 6. six yeah. And what's the name of the show? <clears throat> it's called A Vegas Beginning, starring international singing star, Nelia Ross. Ross. <laughs> on Nelia TV. Uh, Nelia TV, TV, right. TV and, yeah. and, and TV. Well. So, and so TV. You, you're going to have guests on. You're going to interview them. You're going. You're going to. It's going to be a talk show, but more a variety entertainment show uh, with sponsors. There'll be 
um, people that others will recognize the sound of those people, mm -hmm. the visual of those people. Yeah. It's a whole new start for you. Yeah, and also it will be live music, so I will perform live, so there will be a piano, and you know, I, I cannot do not real too many things, of okay. course. Okay. But, you know. Oh, really? So, uh, yeah. have you done a talk show before? <clears throat> uh, I have done a talk show before, yes, in Italy. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, of course, now it's completely different, you know, yeah. because uh, this is not my native language, English, I mean. Uh, so, it will be probably a little bit more difficult, uh, but, you know, it's a challenge. So, I think that people will appreciate it. So, you, you're going to be bilingual? Yeah. In, in, on the show, are you going to talk some Italian? You're going to talk some English? Because oh. listeners are going to be from all over the world. Absolutely. People are viewing, yes. so you want to hit all of those people. <laughs> well, I cannot make you know the, uh, the the translation, and I, I cannot speak, of course, you know, contemporary to languages. Uh, but probably, you know, there will be some Italian, you know, just to to say hello to well, I love, Italy. I love the way the language sounds. <laughs> I think that would add to the show. I can speak four languages. Well, let's, so. uh, let's, let's, let's do a little experiment right now. Yeah, then, all right? that's right. Are you that's ready right. for a little experiment, uh, Nadia? Uh, I, okay. I love the experiment. I'm so. the host of this show, but now yeah. you are. Let's switch, switch seats. No, whoa, what? You interview me. No, 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 no. Over. over there. Come no, are you kidding? See, I knew this was a sudden Oh, my God. Well, this, you know what? This no is way. a good... You're the big chair now. You are the host. Oh, my gosh. Oops. Oh. Okay. Well, that's very okay. loud because I'm deaf, yeah. so. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. Let me put this on. All right. All right. Here I am. I'm your guest. Go. Okay. You're a guest. I'm Special your guest. guest. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, here is Nelia Ross. <laughs> okay. Um, what about Ron? Okay. Everybody knows the story of Ron, and uh, I was uh, uh, really surprised of his past. Uh, he was a great manager and director in many casinos. He always, you know, had to do with uh, entertainment. And uh, I've heard that, uh, for example, you know, many fabulous people uh, in the music and industry, entertainment, like, for example, Elvis Presley. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know I was really touched by this, you know, because everybody uh, loved him. Uh, so but you mean the time I met him? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> So I, I, did meet, I did meet Elvis, I did. Uh, yeah, I know that. I spoke so. with him for quite a time, quite a while. Wow. And yeah. how was that experience? Uh, I'll never forget it, of course. What a wonderful guy. Yeah. <laughs> and the, he, I think he took so many shows, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, how did you, um, how do you think the, the entertainment work changed during the time, you know, since you started up oh, to oh. now? Without, the, without spending the rest of the show talking about that, <laughs> you know, and this is just a little fun we're trying to do right now. Do Everything has changed entertainment-wise, but that's uh, for others to talk about right now because uh, basically we're talking about what's happening in Vegas these days. Yes. But yes, I just wanted to give you a little shot behind the microphone and let you have some fun. Oh, okay. You have a, a burning question you want to ask me? Uh, no, like, what the hell am I doing with my own radio show? And, in your own radio show, I mean, yeah. this was like an expected, you know. Uh, it's like <laughs> but it's you, a great, you know that probably. I, I did. I did know that. I think it's a great experience for you to take the lead because this is what you're going to be doing on your show. That's right. Yeah, so that's getting true. comfortable behind the director's chair. Yeah. Um, even though the headphones you have on are on volume 10 because he can't hear anything. That's yeah. right. Um, That's true. Sorry about that. But, but this, is a, this is a great experience for you to ask <clears throat> questions of, you know, we're guests now on your show. Yeah. Are there any questions you'd like to ask any of us here? Yeah, what do you got for Neil? Oh, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> for example, Neil, uh, you, you made so many portraits, you know, for, uh, you know, the biggest artists. Uh, so how do you feel in doing that, you know? Listen, so, you know what? I treat everybody the same, so it doesn't matter to me. I don't care it's what people do for work. We all get up in the morning, put our pants and clothes on the same way. We have different titles, different jobs, different responsibilities. But the bottom line is if, if you treat everybody the same mm -hmm. and you give to people, it will come back to you tenfold. Yeah, that's yeah. an important uh, thing that, to learn. Are you comfortable true. behind the mic as the host? Yes, why not? Okay, I want you to say this. Okay. Okay, I want you to say, we'll be right back, right after we listen to Derek David sing Twilight Time. Wonderful. Go. Do it. You say Oh, that. really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have to remember everything? You do. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. We'll you be right it. back. You read. No, we no, will no, be no. right back with uh, Mark Derek David with the Twilight Time. Twilight Time. Yeah. It's good. He did it at your your place. That's from your stage at the venue. Yeah, take a look at the video. Really? You look great. You sound great. Okay, we'll come back. We're on uh, Mark and uh, Derek. Tom, I'll have you on right after the mob. Good. I got the mob. Well, let me get to that first. Oh, hey, how are you guys? Is that Joe and Heidi? Okay, we'll take them back. Okay, we're going to come over here. Come over here. Close to you. Practice, practice, practice. I know. I know. Okay, it was good. Yeah. You know, the, the, the one critique, because it's all constructive critique, is um, they were away from the word um. Um. Oh, okay. You know, take the breath in between before that word yeah. and um. Okay, out. stop saying okay, oh, okay. okay. <coughs> and no, okay, okay, no, okay. okay. Take that breath. But we'll get to that. You'll get it. You'll get it. When you ask a question, getting a citation, or getting arrested, don't argue, don't resist, don't leave. After the encounter has been resolved, is the time to address any questions. That was good. Comply now, complain later. Keep everybody safe. This message brought to you by the National Police Association. To learn more about how to help law enforcement accomplish its goals, visit National Police. And we're back on the Las Vegas Rocks radio show. I'm your host, Ron Garrett, AM 670 KMZQ right here in beautiful Las Vegas right on the strip. Before I move on, I want to plug the club, uh, the morning show here at KM. Uh, what is the name of the station? KMZQ. KMZ, not going K, wrong call letter. Uh, from KMZQ right here every morning at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. It's uh, Mr. Tom. Uh, uh, Tom. <laughs> Mark Thomas. What's that? Your phone. My phone is talking? Oh, okay. So I told, you, told everybody to turn it off except me. There you go. That's why I'm getting all confused. I'm hearing myself. Oh. Mark Thomas behind the board. He's on every day, Monday through Friday, with uh, with uh, uh, Andy Vieira. Andy Vieira. I have trouble with names as I get older, right. you know. With Andy Vieira, and it's a great show called The Club. I listen to it every morning. Oh, great! Thank you. You guys are good. Thank you. You guys feel got all kinds of news and stories and all that kind of stuff. Cool. Thank you. Uh, did they shoot that balloon down yet? Yeah, it's yeah. going. Oh, I'm just checking around. Right there. You get that thing? Yeah. Okay. On the phone right now is our favorite capos, mobsters, and members of the mob from Vegas Mob Weddings. It's Heidi and Joe Marino. Hello, Heidi and Joe. Hello, everyone. Hi, man. How you guys doing? Good, good, good. Tell us what's going on over at Vegas Mob Weddings. As usual, we're very happy to be on the radio show, Las Vegas Rocks radio show, again, to tell you once again what Vegas Mob Weddings is all about. Go ahead. Thank you. 
ceremony and the plenary and count the two cups of thirty witnesses. If you want that many witnesses. <laughs> no witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> you get a professional photographer with 30 digital photos in a couple. The ceremony will be recorded and the video is launched. We let the world know we're a main couple and our video live streaming of the ceremony in the flowers. I'm sorry, the ceremony will be recorded and the video is yours. We let the world know you're a main couple and our live video streaming of the ceremony in the flowers. All the gangsters like flowers when they get married. <laughs> we stop by Jasper's flower shop. That's the place. Yes, and every bride gets a fresh full rose bouquet and a matching bouquet for the groom. And if that's not enough, we have some souvenirs with a mob wedding cake, Meyer Lansky's marriage certificate, a postcard with Meyer Lansky's quote, and Al Capone's marriage certificate. The whole package is one price with no add ons, no additional fees. Other ceremony packages are available. Thank you so much, uh, Joe and Heidi. We appreciate the call in. Joe and Heidi Marino at Vegas Mob Weddings. And we'll be seeing you soon on the show. We'll be talking to you next week. Thanks so much for calling in. Thank you. All right. You, got, you bet, Heidi. Bye-bye. Uh, there, That's a lot of fun, that whole mob wedding thing, you know. If you were to get married over again, uh, Derek, would you want to do a mob wedding? Or? No. <laughs> I think, actually, you did do a mob wedding when you got married. It was a real mob. <laughs> yeah, well, sort of. Sort of, kind of, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Derek David is from uh, from uh, Washington D.C. Yes, right, right. But you hung out in San Francisco for a while. San, I was born in San Francisco. Right, but you uh, basically grew up in Washington. In Washington D.C. Now you have a show along with this uh, young man over there next to Neil, the fantastic Mr. Mark Maynard, coming up uh, on Thursday, right. the, uh, right. the ninth. That's right. And uh, I'm the MC of the show. Yes, I'm in the are. show once right. again. Right. I'm not on the poster once again. You know that. Right? Well, you know, but see. <laughs> Look at Miss Kordani. Uh, no, I'm Kordani. Yeah, Are you going to be there? I will be there. Yeah, absolutely. Be there. Okay. Right. absolutely. So what's uh, what's going on with this show? That's a little bit different because it's different acts from the one we just did right. at the Star Bright. So right. what's the what's going on and what's the difference on We've this? We've got one? the fantastic Mark Maynard. That's really Valley. Okay. Yeah. He is like the number one guy. Frankie Valley's favorite. Yeah. He Frankie told him so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he told me exactly. He told him so. He told me said, And we're going to have professional sweetheart as the Supremes. Okay. So you can have a Supremes tribute show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Along yeah. with the uh, with the platters, of right. course. Right. And along with Mr. Mark Maynard. And Mark mm -hmm. Maynard. So right. we've got the platters, the Supremes, and Mark Maynard. Is the any other? Yeah. That, that's it? Oh, you got Pete. Yeah. It's Pete. Pete. I, right. I have one and only Pete Peterkin oh, and wow. Chuck Berry. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it's going to be a rocking show. Well, okay. Pete Peterkin is one of the most talented cats in town. Oh, There's yeah. no question about that. As, yeah. as Chuck Berry, he's terrific. Of course, we all know how great he is at Ray Charles. Right. It's Stevie it's Wonder and everybody. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Mark, what are you going to do in the show? Well, I just want quickly to mention about Pete. I met Pete many years back when um, Sharon Haynes was working the shows over there at the Gold Coast had the Honky Tonk Angels, and then they created the uh, rock and roll scene uh, mm -hmm. show. And Pete and I, we first met as a result of that show. Do you know I produced that show, the Honky Tonk Angels? It, I'm not surprised. It's an excellent show. Yeah, I We're, did that show, and I had them at the Sahara as well. the Sahara? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, Sharon put together what was called Serendipity. Mm -hmm. uh, Sherry Ray Parker was in that show. That's right. Uh, doing that. And Bobby. She was Dolly, right? Uh, she did uh, both. Uh, let me think of it here. She did uh, Janis Joplin was one, mm -hmm. but of course her big one was... Um, the the uh, big singer oh god what's her name you sound like me introducing Mark <laughs> Thomas <over. laughs> but and that's also where I worked directly for a long time with Bobby Wilson yeah was in that show so I'm so excited about this show coming up on the ninth because you know it's going to be a lot of fun as Derek was saying um, I'm going to be bringing on um, a couple of medleys and of course a big ballad can't take my eyes off of you as part of the show and it's a great sing along everybody likes that song a lot 
and uh, I mean, very excited about being involved with this. You know, it's been a long time since I was uh, entertaining over there, the Italian American Club. Well, I thought you were there a lot, though. Uh, the last time I performed on there, I did my complete show without other right, entertainers. With, okay. 16th of uh, July of okay. 2016. Wow. Seven years. Well, you were doing legends and concerts all that Yeah, it, I had a lot of other things, uh, irons in a fire and things happening. A lot of a lot of stuff happening for me at, at that period of time. What was the Frankie and Sherry show that you were working on? Right? That was such a clever, uh, it was a book show, it, it scripted, okay? Mm -hmm. And it took you on a journey, uh, Frankie, of course, Frankie Valley, and the uh, fiction, fictional, you say that, <laughs> fictional, the fictional character, Sherry. I like the buy a vowel. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was a story about the uh, the dynamics between Frankie and Sherry. And uh, and the fictional character, there I got it. Fictitious. Mar fictitious. <laughs> Marlena, which was another big song for him in his uh, you know, in history of his recordings. Fictitious, that's and the word. She was, yeah, the biker, she was the biker chick. And there was a lot of comedy in it. And it was what I call a uh, music, uh, jukebox musical. Okay, all the songs tied to show the uh, you know the dialogue together. Nice. Yeah, and it was a lot of fun. We got the audience involved. We got uh, oh gosh, uh, she portrayed Frankie Valley's mother, and she was uh, pretty traditional, wanting to feed everybody all the time. And she would carry these uh, sausages through the audience, and she would snag these guys, three guys. Out of the audience. Yeah, I, got your, I got your sausage, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it sounds like that. That's it right. Sunny. I got your sausage. Right like over here. Sonny King. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> well, you know, that was part of the humor. A little a little bit risque, a little bit edgy. Uh -huh. It just brought on a lot of laughter and a lot of fun and all the great songs. Uh, we did include, like, Leader of the Pack. Mm -hmm. And because, you know, Frankie was the leader of the pack. Okay? So mm -hmm. we used those kind of songs from that time frame that really put it together in a nice way. Kept everybody entertained. Hey, thanks, Mark. Appreciate that. Yeah. I want to go to Neil for just a moment over here. Hey, Neil. Hey, Ron. You have a, an event coming up. I do. Um, we have our Wham! event coming up Valentine's Day. Now, this is, how long have you been doing it? This has been a pretty a year good and a half run. Now. A year and a half. A year and a half. Uh, we're the only, one of the only shows in Vegas that has not closed. <laughs> Um, they sure are well closing, attended. Right, we, we, we thank all of the support we've had from the community. The entertainers themselves love playing at Portnoy Gallery. Our Wham! is Wine Art and Music. We partner with Las Vegas Valley Winery. You get to view all the artwork in the gallery and some of the greatest entertainers, local entertainers here in Vegas play. Now on uh, Valentine's Day, our special guest singer is Sugar Shack's only, one and only, Terry Haley. We'll also be inducting six new inductees. Who are they? Travis Clore. Yes. From, Everybody knows from Jersey Travis, Boys, from right? Jersey Boys and Bat Out of Hell. Paige, um, I always get Paige's name, Paige Strafella, who does Monday's Dark with Mark Chinook. She's great. Uh, Kyle Martin, who does Piano Man, Billy Joel Elton John, Hand Selection by great Billy. Show. Yeah. Um, also, Stephanie San Sanchez who um, is very involved in the community here in the music industry, and Victor James and Alicia Perone from Fans of Jimmy Century. So it's a very eclectic group of inductees. Their fan base will show up. It'll be crowded. You go to Eventbrite, you go to Portnoy Gallery page on Facebook, sign up early so we know the numbers we can plan on what food we're going to have for you that evening. If you are followers of Neil, you've been noticing lately that you've been doing an animal series uh, yeah. of, uh, of beautiful, beautiful birds. The and big cats, the, the, big the cats. exotic birds, yeah. And the one I like the best so far, and people can see all this on, on your Facebook page, uh, which is the Portnoy Gallery. Portnoy Gallery or Neil Portnoy. Or Neil Portnoy. I go to the phrase, and yeah. you, you got this uh, picture that you got a picture, a uh, drawing of a wolf that you did. Uh, recently, and I painted, I used the you paint. paint. I never use a brush. But right. everybody has told you that what stands out are the eyes. The eyes. It's all about and the eyes. About the eyes. It's all about amazing. the eyes. Yeah. So go to your page. Tell people to go to your go page. Go to Facebook page, Neil right. Portnoy. You'll see all the work. And be um, tuned in to April, May, and June for a full exhibit at Park West Gallery and the it. Forum yeah. Shops at Caesars. And it begins. The journey continues. It's right, oh, right above uh, Joe's Steak and Stone Crab House yeah, right correct. there. In there. Yeah. At the, in the forum shops. Yep, valet your car right there for $7. Go in and Park West is right there. Right there, right above it. Yep.
and also get a chance to eat there. It's a great restaurant. Correct. It, is. it really is. It hey, really Ron, is. can I say something real quick, please? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I just wanted to say That's that. enough. Oh. Wrap up here. No, when you said uh, Valentine's, it triggered that. I just wanted to say that I want to share all of my love and appreciation to everybody out there and say happy Valentine's Day. Oh, boy. <laughs> Happy Nelia Times Day. Let's go with that one. <laughs> so it's going to be great. What? Yeah. We can have that. Right? Why not? Yeah, sure. Uh, back to Derek for a few minutes here, Derek. Uh, take us back a little bit when you sang uh, with the uh, Platters. Uh, a little bit about that. With uh, What was his name? Uh, that was the immortal Tony Williams. Tony Williams, that's right. Tony Williams did On the Your Great Pretender, Twilight. Your All the great songs. All the songs. Like, that was the voice of Tony Williams. And uh, I started singing with Tony 50 years back. You know, I sing all those songs in the shower and the water turns off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a very dry joke. Wow. We're going to go to a break right now and we're going to feature our good buddy Mark Maynard uh, singing some of his, uh, uh, what is it, a collection of uh, your bits here. It's your demo tape that I've dug up today. And here you are, Mark. We're going to go to break, and we'll be right back with more of and Neil Ross. Neil Ross, and with uh, Derek David and uh, Neil. See, Neil and, and Mark and Tom, you're going to be on and tell us all about the, why they make war movies when we come back. Mark made it better. Here it is. <laughs> I went like this and I hit the high note. Huh? I went like this and I hit the high note. Tom's up. Which chair, please? Norman's still at 50? Uh, where are we at? Uh, uh, no, I want to do... Uh, uh, no, I want to do... Uh, 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 Nelly's, uh, true light. Uh, I'll get that right here. Would you like? Huh? True light? Uh, Nelly's true light, yeah. There's a dropper to go to break. It's hard to do. I'm going to go to break with the glass. You hear him bark? Do it. It's hard to do right now. Nelly's true light. Happy Valley times. Can we come back? We're going to, um, to, uh, uh, Tom. Tom. What's wrong with me? Oh, I don't know. You're, you're off today. You're, you're, you're I'm off, off all right. <laughs> <laughs> you have Neil Nelia. The problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that's me. Yeah, I used to do that. Yeah. Just call me Nelia. Yeah, Nelia. I'll call you Nelia. 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 No, then I'll really get confused. Nelia. That's the wrong one. This is what goes on behind the scenes, everybody. Everybody's watching on Facebook Live right now. They're seeing, they're seeing it's all glamour. They're seeing us pick our nose and everything else that we do. No, it's grammar. <laughs> you always put a negative spin on it, Neil. Oh, yeah. I, you know, i got to keep it real. I'm feeling it's like rain cloud over here. <laughs> Maybe it'll grow some hair. That might help. Yeah. It's not going to happen. No. I think Chia Pet stuff. Yeah, yeah Chia Pet. Chia Pet. Yeah, see, there is hair. He's the Eeyore. I didn't shave this one. There is hair. 22. Yes, 22 seconds. Coming back with Tom. It's too short. Here we go. <clears throat> And we're back on the Las Vegas Rocks Radio Show, AM 670 KMZQ, each and every Saturday evening at 5 p.m. Right here live and in real time on the Go Live Vegas app, on the pages of Facebook Live, and everywhere else that we can find the show. It's going to be all over the world. Tom Hillary, our Hollywood reporter, Tom Movie Maker, and uh, great movies you have out right now on 
You've got two in play right now on, uh, what is it, Tubi? Tubi, or, yeah. Uh, Tubi? Well, two going on on Tubi, uh, Project Solitude, Buried Alive, mm -hmm. and um, Looks Can Kill is Looks also on Tubi. And when is Honey Trap coming out? Honey, tra Honey Trap's available. It's available? Yeah, the best way to find it, though, is go to Starlight. Productions and mm -hmm. click on the Honey Trap link there because the name Honey Trap shows up in movie stories. But you know, it's stories about Fang Fang mm -hmm. and all the other people. So the way to get to the Honey Trap movie is through the site. So what's but, going on? What's the uh, what's why are the uh, war movies so popular? Because of uh, their heroes, I guess, right? Well, we've got some really cool stuff right now. First, if I may, a, a shout out to the Ancient and Honorable Artillery Company of Massachusetts, the uh, third oldest military unit in the world, and one of their members, uh, Captain Thomas Hudner is the subject of a big movie right now, Devotion. So congratulations, Devotion, Devotion that's about the, uh, the, 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 the Black Flyers? Uh, well, it's about one Black Flyer. but uh, The first guy, yeah. The first yeah. One. Well, Devotion started out, uh, apparently an actor, Glenn Powell, was in Top Gun. Oh, to tell you the reason we're doing all this is because the uh, movies with patriotic themes and military themes have very broad appeal. That's what we found out last year with the tremendous success of Top Gun. Movie makers take note. Now, this is what's going on right now in the genre. One of the actors from Top Gun, Glenn Powell, decided that he was going to do the story Devotion. Devotion is the story of an enduring friendship of two guys in the military. One of them was Jesse Brown, who was the first black aviator in the United States Navy. He was the wingman to Captain Thomas Hudner, he of the ancient honorable artillery company fame. Well, sadly, Jesse got shot down during the Korean War near the Chosin Reservoir. Tom Hudner went in to rescue him. He had found a Jesse in there in a plane that was burning at the time. Hudner had to take snow with his bare hands and was able to extinguish the, the fire in the plane. And they both got out of there alive. But very impressive. Uh, came to the attention of the President of the United States, Harry S. Truman, who gave uh, Captain Hudner the Congressional Medal of Honor. Captain Hudner became was uh, such a, an outstanding man. There's also a battleship named after him, the USS Tom Hudner. And he was the uh, Veterans Commissioner for the entire Commonwealth of Massachusetts. I was very lucky that I get to, got to know the man when I was back in Massachusetts in the company. He was a fine gentleman. And the good news is Glenn Powell, the actor who plays Tom Hudner in the movie, did get to meet Tom and have some extensive conversations with him before he died. Because sadly, we have lost him. But he's portrayed in the movie Devotion. I bet it's going to be a big hit just like Top Gun was. Movie makers, take note. There you go. Let's go see that movie. Exactly. Devotion, you know, it sounds great. Let's come back and talk to, uh, to, uh, to you, Neil. <laughs> no, no, listen, that was interesting. That was good information, Tom. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, that was good. That was yeah. good. Wasn't it? I just want to correct them on one thing. Yeah. It's Massachusetts, not Massachusetts. <laughs> From Massachusetts, you should know that. Hey, that it's it, also Quinn Z, not Quinn C, but who's, who's picking uh, yeah, that up? Hey, 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 you guys from Boston and Massachusetts. <laughs> you guys from Boston and Massachusetts have no way to teach us how to talk. Where's your you letter guys, R? <laughs> you guys don't know how to talk over there, so, so you're going to teach us? We went to Harvard. We, we talked to Harvard. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, good. We're good. <laughs> now, yeah, before you came to, uh, to Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden now you're going to be on television and and all that. You had some experience with this back in Italy, right? And you, you put on some stage shows and musicals all over the world. Yes. Just a little bit about yes, that. Yes, yes. I have been performing with my show, uh, all over the world. Um, and, you know, all sold out. All the theaters sold out. Because, uh, you know, the show is, you know, it, it, it's really amazing. You know, it's like, it, it, we, we called it like a concert musical. So, uh, a concert, uh, you know, so uh, we, we, we rock during the concert, uh, but it's, it seems like a musical because we wear costumes and, you know, all the ancient dresses, uh, so it's very peculiar also uh, because of the scenography, so, which is very, very nice. Uh, so there are dancers and musicians, uh, you know, uh, back, you know, back um, cars and... You know, so, so now, yeah, I, I got a question. Yeah. Is this the type, have you been over to the Myron's Cabaret at the Smith Center? Have you seen that room at all? Yeah, that's no, the room. That's no. The because room. that would, in my opinion, um, that would be the perfect room. It's a large stage, tremendous sound in that room. And it seats, I don't know, 240, 300 people. I'm guessing numbers here. I'm not quite sure of the numbers. But that would be something that could be promoted directly from your TV show. And talk about the TV show. What's it called again? Oh, it's called Vegas Beginning. That would be a great beginning to leapfrog you to a live performance of that show 
at the Smith Center at Myron's Cabaret. That would be a wonderful idea. Well, that is a great place for you to perform. That is a class act down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard place. about yeah. it, yeah. Uh, yes. But let's go, let's go to something more important than that right now. It's uh, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Everybody jump in. <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> by why, why? I think they're a better team. They proved it the entire season. Um, the coaching staff is incredible. Although, listen, um, having just completed an illustration for the Super Bowl, hopefully to be in newspapers nationwide. I feel that um, Philadelphia proved over the entire season, the 17 games, that they were a better team. Mm -hmm. But you got Patrick Mahomes, and he's kind of, you know, Kansas City's quarterback. He's the ace. Um, you, you don't know what to expect. Is his mm -hmm. upper um, ankle sprain going to be healed enough for him to use his legs in the game? That will make a difference. But uh, Jalen Hurts, the quarterback for uh, the Eagles, um, has had an outstanding season. His entire life he's been groomed for this moment in time. And my prediction is Eagles by 11. There you go. You follow football, Derek? No. No, so you don't have an answer to that one. Let's, let's swing it over here to uh, Mark. Mark, I'm sure you follow the football game. What's your opinion of the Super Bowl coming up? I love, I love the football game that's coming up. I think it's going to be closer than... What do you think this, the difference on the score will be? You said by 11. You said by 11, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I think it'll be a closer than that, but uh, I hope it is because I love a close, nail-biting kind of finish on these games. Fantastic. And it's amazing how quickly they can change in just the, the, in, the, in the final quarter, of course, in the final minute, you know. So, yeah, I'm excited by it. What do you think, my, uh, Tom? <laughs> Mark, Mike? There's, there's no Mike in there. I'm really rolling tonight, man. No, 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 I'm so just the press that Tom Brady retired, man. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. So, no, what do you think about the game? Do you, uh, you uh, go for Philly because it's an East Coast team, even though Kansas City is a Midwest team? Well, are you like, who are you rooting for? Or yeah. who do you think is going to win? What do you think the question was? Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Oh, who's going to win? Okay. Um, yeah, I'll go for Philly. Why not? Philly, Philly. Yeah. Anybody here for Kansas City? Do you follow football at all? Uh, well, just a little bit, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. yeah, you want, yeah. Do you like American football? It's not the same yes. as Italian football. No, but I like more the American football. You do? Yeah, because yeah. it's more enjoyable. Well, we you score, know, we score 40, 50 different. points, you know, 30, 40, 50 <laughs> points. Your football is yeah. three, three scores. What well, people don't realize that a football game, if you've ever been to a live American football game, yeah. the size of these guys, oh, the yeah. speed of the game, yeah. and the the, the velocity yeah. of the hits. Yeah. I mean, they're coming at full steam and hitting you with a 300 pound, you know, linebacker that does a 4 4 40. I mean, yeah. that was unheard of. When you go back to the old Packers days of Ray Nitschke and, and you know, Bart Starr with, with the pack, it was a different game back then. You had, even with Teddy Bruschi, who played with the New England Patriots, Teddy came out of Arizona State as a small lineman, and he went and became a linebacker in the game. The game has changed. It has. It has. It really I'll has. share for Without me. Brady in it next year, I think that's a good thing. For, I don't want to do a sports show, by the way, but we're talking about it because it is the Super Bowl. Sure. You know, and that's the only reason, but uh, I'm glad Brady's not coming to the Raiders. Uh, why get him at this Aaron Rodgers is coming to the Raiders. Uh, well, maybe, Mark but, but we, would have, we would have got to diminish the Brady, uh, even, oh, though he, even though he's the greatest of all time. I agree. We're going to take a break right now, and we'll go to a break with true, with uh, with your song, True Light. We're true gonna, Light, okay. Yeah, we're going to take True Light out to the break Wait. and uh, <laughs> listen to this. This is part of your show. Give us yeah. a little uh, preview to True Light. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay? Yeah, sure. Oh. We'll be right back. You going? Yes. Oh, right on the pool. Back. How, how long does that run? When, when are we coming back? What do we got left? Uh, let's see. Maybe we do a bit of that. Well, if we, if we got out at like 53, we'll have uh, five minutes. Yeah. 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 Let it run through. She starts singing. Let's go.
Okay, we're in break. We're coming back in the final segment. I, I do. I think Myron's would be a great host. It's perfect. Yeah, they're going to come and ask her to be there. <laughs> I said you do your show, you get a little buzz going. It's a good show. But then you go in and, you know, he charges 35 to 4 to rent that room for a night. But at 25 a ticket, 300 people, you get the buzz going. When people buy you, if you can break even on your first show, they'll have you back where you make money on your second. Just in time, Derek. Okay, so we are we gonna uh, we to, uh, we go to uh, Europa. I know my sports. So I've got. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna have five minutes. About five. Three minutes of talk. Okay. Right, we're back in 30 seconds. This is the final segment. I'm going around the room, everybody. One minute. One minute. I'm sorry. And we're going around the room. Now, yeah, I wanted to. We're gonna. Now, yeah, we're gonna go around the room again. So I want you to talk about the TV show again. Okay. Remember where it's at? Channel 30, uh, Channel 6, Channel 33, CW. Maybe better have a table. I'll, I'll pick it up if you. Uh, Derek, when we come back, just re re reiterate the uh, Italian American Club. Okay. And, uh, Mark, we're gonna come uh, wrap it up. We're gonna go back to you. Keep it short. And uh, re reiterate the Italian American Club with Derek and Tom. Yep. Uh, what do you got to close with? Me? Just uh, for the ultimate and action thrill and suspense, go check out the movies on Star Wars right. Productions. Okay. Okay, stand by. Two, one, here we go. Of course, now everybody on Facebook. <laughs> And we're back on the Las Vegas Rocks Radio Show. I can't forget the name of my own show, right? <laughs> this is our final segment, and we're going to talk to everybody one more time and, and get up to speed on all the good things that are coming uh, to this great town of ours. And we'll start again with uh, Nelly. With Go ahead. Yes. Okay, my TV show is uh, Vegas Beginning. Uh, we will start on March uh, the 5th, okay. yes, and every Sunday uh, you could uh, watch it on, you know, on TV uh, 33, uh, the CW Las Vegas, uh, and it's Cox Cable Channel 6, uh, and it will be Nelia TV. <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, Derek, you want to appear on the show. Would you, would you do a, a, a guest spot with uh, Wow, thank you. You. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's going to be a great show every single yeah. week. And Neil, you're going to be a guest spot on the show. I'll have a guest spot. I'll be in the audience for the first, the inaugural show. And it'll be uh, a lot of cheering, clapping, and it'll be a great show. That's right. Yeah, also because, I'm sorry if I add uh, one special thing. You know, it's possible to see uh, the show live because, uh, you know, there can be like a live audience. Yes. Uh, so uh, people can, can watch it live. But it's limited. We only have 20 seats. Yeah, and, only uh, 20 seats. And yes. after uh, Neil brings his uh, whole family and friends, <laughs> there'll <laughs> be no finished. seats yes, left. That's the Jewish true. mafia. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, the Jewish I want I want Derek to bring the coasters, the drifters, and the platters, <laughs> plus the ladies of Motown and the Supremes, all to the show. All, all so, together. You know, it's fun hanging around with those kind of people around you all the time, isn't it? Well, you know, I learned a lot of it from you. Okay. From me? Yeah, because when look, how long were we at the Sahara? Seven years. Seven years. Okay, with the platters, yeah. the coasters, the drifters, the former lead singers of the Temptations. Okay, we had. Uh, Damon Harris, Glenn Leonard, Ollie Woodson. Okay. And they were all there. Quite a group. It was, you know, it was sold out. Everywhere. And that's coming up next Thursday, February the 9th. Sold out. Sold out already? Sold out. So we don't need to promote it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. Right, Mark. <laughs> Mark, do we it's sold out? Is it because of you or is it because I'm the announcer? It's because of everybody who's involved, I'm sure. And I'm excited and I'm very uh, proud to be part. Part of that show is, is uh, being brought on at different times. You also appear at Cleveland's. Give yes, I'll be at Cleveland's coming up uh, February. Uh, every month through, now through the end of May, I've got like eight shows on the calendar, and mm -hmm. I'd like to encourage everybody to take a look at my Facebook so they can follow with all that. You know, it used to be called the Nevada Room. Now it's called Coop's Cabaret. Yes, that's time. coming up. They've got me booked in there, too. And they got their liquor license, too. All right. Yeah, they're talking about booze now. Go ahead, Tom. What's, uh, For the ultimate in action, thrills, and suspense, 
Go check out the movies on starlight.productions. There you go. There you go. And don't forget to wear your 3D glasses. <laughs> oh, it's not in 3D? Not <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, what another great show in the can. Thank you so much, Nelly. We appreciate you being here. We look forward to your TV show. Thank you so much. You know, NTV Presents, Nelly TV Presents, yeah. A Vegas the Beginning, biggest. starring international singing star, Nelly Ross. Ross. <laughs> I like to take that pause. I take the pause. It's a dramatic pause. Yeah. Derek David, uh, you'll be at the uh, Italian American Club Thursday on the 9th. Right. You can find Neil each and every day from uh, 10 to 3 at his studio there on the, on the Western. I just want to also mention that Tom's movies are in three double D. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Hey, thank you all for listening and watching on Facebook Live, the Las Vegas Rocks radio show. Thank you to my guests, Nelly Ross and Derek David and Neil Portnoy, Tom Hillary, Mr. Mark Menard, uh, Maynard. <laughs> of course, also welcome back our official photographer, Mr. Brian Nofel. Thank you, Brian, for being here. And uh, Mark Thomas at the board. We appreciate everything. Vegas is a great town. I've been here from the mob to the corporations, and 50 years from now, the mobs will be running the corporations, so nothing will really change. <laughs> you know, or do they do it now? I don't know. They do it now. They do it now. Thank you all for listening and watching. I'm Ron Garrett, and good night. That's it. That's it, Facebook Live, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, we got a word, Patrick Crazy, saying hello to you, Brian. And a lot of other people on here, too. We'll look at it in just a little while. Bye-bye.